Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to my garden. It is uh, Sunday, July 25th, and uh, I haven't shot a video back here in a couple weeks, so I just wanna show you some blooms that I have, and then towards the end of the video, I have a haul uh, of plants that I bought when I was down in uh, the Miami area from OFE uh, show that we had, and from a few of the nurseries down there. So I'd like to share that with you guys. But I'm just going to do a quick uh, walk around the garden and uh, show you some Hoya blooms and some other things. So yeah, I was surprised that Hoya benvergarii uh, bloomed. And she is really pretty. You can see the multi-toned corona is really pretty against that salmon color. So I really like this one. And the foliage does sun stress a little bit but not much it also resembles um hoya varshanasii cerea and a couple others and let's see down here my swiffer's dream is about to bloom soon it blooms constantly and what else is down here yeah, this um, EPC319 is really going rampant uh, over here. It's going everywhere. It's going into the neighbor's yard. And it's attaching to the pot over here, which is kind of cute. And it's going all over. I'm letting it do its thing, so that's when they're happiest. So I don't usually move hoyas around when they're really growing fast because then you'll stun their growth if you do. And that's Mr. Nips over there. Uh, Swiffer's not in the yard because I have the chickens out and she does not like them. So I try to keep them separated. And over here I have this uh, Carnosa variant that I picked up from Thailand. And this one is a little bit unusual because the flowers are quite uh, large compared to most of the other carnosas I'm aware of and the leaves are kind of like small and um, spoon like some of them you can see they're kind of interesting some people think it's a Chelsea but it's not uh, it, and the leaves are really thick too yeah so it's a really interesting cultivar and it's a happy bloomer see it's a already putting out a new peduncle down there yeah we just been really hot and it hasn't been raining a lot so um, I've had to water quite a bit and uh, not a lot of flowers I think this time of year is just too stressful uh, with the heat and everything that they kind of the orchids don't flower as much and if they do flower the 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 flowers don't last too long and this is Hoya EPC uh, 1002 that's really beautiful that nice uh, yellow uh, corollas with the pink coronas so that really stands out And it has another peduncle there and another peduncle there. So it has like five or six different peduncles uh, waiting to bloom. And then I have this unusual Hoya over here. It's the only thing I know. It's called Hoya Silhouette 2. That's how I received it. I don't know if you can see it. The foliage is quite interesting. And the flower is really stunning. And I haven't bloomed it for a while, but it looks like it's going to bloom here. So uh, let's see. And then I posted on Instagram this um, Leo and Joseph. It's quite stunning and it's bloomed for the first time for me. And uh, really beautiful Carnosa pink flowers and it's really really splashy and the leaves are wavy it's one of my favorite uh, Susan hybrids 
And what else we got here? We got Nathalie. That's blooming there. And we have this oddball Finlaysonii. Really like the very high contrast veins on that. And the flower is about to open in a couple of days. And uh, let's go in the backyard. And this guy over here, I wanted to show you guys when it's uh, open, uh, is a Vanda Selena. And I have it as part of my haul video, but it's not. When I, shoot it, when I shot it a couple of days ago, it wasn't opened completely. And I wanted you guys to see how dark this uh, Vanda is. It's really beautiful and it's fragrant. So I'm really excited with that one. And um, I'll show you another Vanda. This one I rebloomed from last year. It's already on its uh, way out, but I really like the wine tones to it. And this guy is called Dr. Anik which is Mimi Palmer Midnight Serenade and it's fragrant and it is quite quite beautiful so I want to show you my Jose Bueno had a really really stunning leaf it was so beautiful that some bug probably a grasshopper thought the same and uh, did a job on it so so this is, I don't know if they call these half moons, but it is quite a striking leaf. And if I had caught that grasshopper, it wouldn't have uh, survived. So yeah, that's um, my Jose Bueno. It has like some really humongous leaves. Everyone likes to see this guy. And people always ask me about my Cebu Blue. Um, let me show you guys that. And it's back here. I always forget it because it's climbing up the tree so high that I cannot see it anymore from the top. But you can see the leaves are probably 18 inches long at least. And... Uh, it's about 12 feet up. This is a beautiful Cebu Blue. And Nips is still napping over there. Okay, so here are the um, plants I picked up at the OFE sale uh, a couple weekends ago. So this one is Peter Lynn crossed with BLC Oconee. And you can see it's a really beautiful flower. Um, and I like that yellow behind the lip there. And it's fragrant. And uh, when I bought it, it was uh, looking great. But uh, it's so hot, the catways don't uh, last very long this time of year. But I'm looking to uh, rebloom it. I heard it blooms at least twice a year here in Florida. So I'm excited to have uh, this one in my collection. I didn't buy that many Hoyas, but I did buy quite a few other plants. And this is a Dyschidia or Dyschidia. This one is called Dyschidia ovata one stripe. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but I really like this Dyschidia and it's a pretty good grower. I think this mix is a little too dense, so I might have to separate and put it in my own mix. But uh, I, I have this plant, but I wanted more, so I bought this pot. Also at Nature's Tapestry at the uh, OFE sale, this vendor had some really nice philodendrons and other aeroids, and I was able to pick up this philodendron billetier. I guess that's how you say it, billetier. And I really like it because it has like brownish orange uh, uh, stems and ribs in the back of the leaves and I've always wanted to get one of these but I had never had the chance so here it is philodendron billetay 
and I couldn't pass this guy up. Uh, number one, it has spots. And number two, it has like an olive green um, background to the spots there, which is really nice. And the, the lip stands out really nice against those spots. So it's a really nice plant. I got it for $35. It's in bloom and it looks like it's going to be a uh, pretty good bloomer for me. And it's called Catlea Bicolor uh, Alba Green Goddess crossed with Catlea Sciandia uh, Alba. So it has a very interesting parentage and it's quite beautiful. So that is the other Catlea I got at the sale. And I also bought a Catacetum. It's called Penang Sweetheart Cross with Catacetum uh, Denticulatum Orange Lip. And uh, the flowers are a little past peak, but they're quite uh, beautiful and strange at the same time. And it has a, a little bit of a minty scent to me. So uh, the colors really attracted me in those spots. And the lips so this is a catacetum orchid and this is a novelty phalaenopsis and i love these because they're uh they constantly bloom here in florida and they're fragrant so when you walk in the yard sometimes their scent goes quite a bit and you can't smell it you can't see it where it's coming from and then you go look for it and there she is kind of hiding in a corner sending out uh its beautiful scent and this is Fal Chancrisma cross with Fal George Vasquez Cristal so it tells me uh, it's one of Frank Smith's crosses and there's the other Fal I picked up this guy has an interesting name it's called Fal Blue Ridge watermelon it's really fragrant and I like those uh, pink purples in the yellow center and she's just a little happy uh, plant so there's another spike there so i'm really happy to have this one as well and this one i got from rf orchids in homestead it's a variegated dendrobium i've never seen these for sale so when i saw this guy i really had to have it I don't know what the bloom looks like. I think uh, from the name, it's probably a green color. Uh, Dandrobium Verona Jade, very good green. It's a Bangkok green cross with Verona Fancy. So I am excited to grow this guy out and see what the flowers look like. This one over here is a Dandrobium uh, by Cadatum. It's a synonymous with Dendrobium antelope species. And uh, as you can see, the plant, I bought it. It wasn't in uh, bloom, but I saw the blooms uh, at the nursery. And I, once I saw them, I knew I had to have it. So I went looking for the nursery owner and she found me this pot. So I didn't even think it was for sale, but uh, I was so lucky to to have it and you'll see the picture I'll add it to the uh, screen when I edit and uh, this plant as you can see it's really cool looking it's they have it labeled as philodendron goldii um, I'm not sure if this has been moved to another genus but I will do some research on this but I have to have it I have one already but for $75 this is quite a steal and uh, really excited to have it so I bought these uh, two philodendrons at perfect choice nursery and if you haven't had the haven't been there check out my video prior to this one and uh, I do a tour of that nursery that nursery is spectacular the plant selection is amazing and the plants are so healthy. Uh, if you're in South Florida, Miami area, you must go there because they have a large selection 
of some of the harder to find Hoyas. And um, yeah, you would not be disappointed going there. And I got this Philodendron subhastium because the back of the leaf turns like this really nice color. It looks like a vigorous grower, as you can see, it's putting out air roots. And I'll probably attach it near my oak tree and see how big the leaves can get. This one here is amazing. This is Vanda Selena. It's a hybrid, but as you can see, it's almost black. The flowers are kind of small, but they're fragrant. And it's really like the back of the flowers, it's almost white purple. It's really, really quite beautiful. These are just beginning to open. Uh, I bought it in bud, uh, like I said, a couple weeks ago. And sorry about the airplane. And this is a cross of uh, Vanda Maria Teresa Ramirez crossed with Vanda Orlando's Amethyst. So you can see it's quite amazing looking. I don't have a lot of Vandas in my collection, but I, this is my fourth one, I think. So I'm excited to see how they turn out, if I can get them to rebloom. And the last plant I bought was this uh, Oncinium stasii, or they have another name for it, that's synonymous with uh, Trichocentrum stasii. And you can see they call this the rat tail orchid because, uh, look at it, look at this thing. It's over four feet long, and uh, it puts out these canes, I guess that's what you call them and uh, the flowers shoot from the base and you'll see on the screen that I'll add a picture of the flowers they're really truly incredible and this orchid uh, they had it mounted on a piece of driftwood and it has a lot of uh, healthy root tips so I hope to bloom it uh, soon very excited about this one I have to find a tree so I can hang it from the top so yeah that's Oncinium stasii. And that's it. That concludes my uh, haul from the OFE Miami area. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you come back every uh, Sunday when I post a new video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.